my name is Donald Webster. I'm a wildlife biologist with Maryland Department of Natural Resources. What are we doing here today? Today we're controlling Phragmites on a, a parcel of marsh on the Nanticoke River, um, approximately a 500 acre marsh, and we're hoping to spray and, and control about 250 acres of Phragmites. What's the problem with Phragmites? The problem with Phragmites is it uh, typically it colonizes a marsh to the extent that it does not allow other vegetation, native vegetation, to grow at all. What does it do to wildlife? The wildlife, uh, the food source uh, available from Phragmites is limited, and wildlife tend to not use Phragmites for seed or for cover. Uh, Red-winged blackbirds do roost into it and sometimes nest into it, but they also would, would roost and uh, nest into the cattails that's hopefully going to replace the Phragmites. Is it an invasive species, and how much of it do we have in Maryland? Uh, it's a very invasive species. It's probably the number one plant uh, that's invasive to our tidal marshes and freshwater marshes in Maryland. Um, I would guesstimate that there's somewhere between 50 and 100,000 acres of Phragmites in Maryland. How much has it grown over the decades? And probably in the last three decades, it's grown as much as uh, probably five to ten fold. And uh, you know, we don't have any uh, any any uh, surveys or monitoring available to actually document that. But uh, anecdotally, I would say at least that. Does it have any impact on mosquitoes? It can have an uh, impact on mosquitoes. Uh, typically, uh, research has shown that Phragmites marshes that are, are primarily Phragmites do breed more mosquitoes just simply because the water remain, remains more stagnant in those environments. If you're a homeowner and you have some Phragmites on your property, what should you do? If I was a homeowner and had Phragmites on my property, I would call a, a, a certified uh, aquatic applicator and get them to do some treatments. And, and once you start down that road, be willing to uh, continue down that road because it will come back. Does it make the ground higher? Does it have any impact on erosion? Yeah, I probably would not uh, control Phragmites if it's a first line of defense on a river shore that has a high uh, impact, it's a high impact area with waves uh, on the bay shores. But uh, in, a, in an isolated area where you have no erosion or possibility of erosion, I'm, I may control those areas. Where does it come from? The uh, plant itself uh, comes from seeds and from rhizomes. Uh, it's typically uh, not a, it's considered an exotic species, thought to have arrived in, with the early settlers in the ballast of boats. In England, they still use it today to thatch roofs on their homes. All right, thanks very much. Mm -hmm.